What's up, YouTube? How are you guys doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing good. And I guess you could say I'm back with a video. Hold on, here comes my kids. Give me one second. Chores. Making a video. Why are you shaking your head? Michi didn't help. No. He let you Michi. let him. Oh, what? Michi. When I was doing the um, thing. First off, Michi was dancing. Then he knocked the detergent over. So he had to clean it up. The detergent I just bought? Yes. It was like. Like this much, I guess. I don't know how much. Damn near the whole bottle. No, not the whole bottle. There's also some in there. But then second. But only a little bit is in there. Yeah. Because then second, when I was doing clothes, he let me to, well he, well he say he wasn't looking, but let me cave me on, knock over the um thing, and make even more come out. Now there's only probably like this much in here, and it was more than before. And try to clean it up. Okay. What type of video I'm making? Just a video? Right. Well, the life of kids. No. You're ignorant. Don't yell at me. I'm your mother. I said no. I told you take your cup downstairs. Little boy, it ain't funny. Anyway, so I guess you can say I'm back with a video. I got an attitude now, but anyway. I lost my train of thought, but um. Oh, so I'll just tell y'all about, really Demetrius, you better clean that mess up. You better find a way, make a way, make a way, make a hell. Use this matter of fact. Let me guess, say hi. Yeah. He's using a blue sheet that says color. Hi. Hey. But, yeah, um. Mommy, use that too. Cock is going through that blue sheet. Hurry up. Move now. Your cup is downstairs. Mom, so what I can do. Oh. So what I can do it with. Huh, yo. Anyway. No, I asked y'all to bring up the juice. His juice. Oh, yeah. Why? Who you talking to? Anyway, three minutes in. I don't know why I got this like this. It's supposed to be a swoop, but it didn't work out. So let's just camouflage that. Anyway, I could tell y'all about the time that, about my pregnancies, my deliveries, and like, I will say, a few months to a year after. I'm just watching Lovely Mimi right now. So, when I was around about 16... I gave birth to my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful nine-year-old. She's nine now. She just turned nine. And thank you. Because my baby is sicky. No, go get your cup from downstairs. No, because I ain't showing this room. Um... I, I can't, I, can y'all get out? Like, I can't do this. I can't even get five words in before I gotta say something. No, why would you take his shirt off and he's sick? See what I'm saying? Can't get five words in. I can't even get two words in. Anyway, try this again. So I had her, and don't mind the rolls and the jiggles and the... 
because that's all it is over here, baby. It's like, no, but um, this boy's trying to get naked. So anyway, I had her when I was around about 16. I was 16. And I was actually pretty happy, excited, you know, through my whole pregnancy. Uh, I've always, I don't know, for some reason, I always wanted a kid, baby, whatever. And so I was pretty excited. Yes, y'all, this is my hair. People be asking me that all the time. Ew. <laughs> but yeah, people be asking me, is that my hair? But yeah, they be thinking it's a little hair piece. Kind of look like it. But anyway. Why you sit this right here in front of my face? It can go over there. <clears throat> um... What am I trying to say? Oh, yeah. I was very happy and excited because I always wanted a baby. It was my first baby. I'm like, yeah, my baby, my baby, my baby. So, it was just me. Pretty much my whole pregnancy. I laid in the bed. Hey, I, start, I, I went... Move, please. Put your snot nose. Hey, I went to, um... Oh, I went to... I, I went to high school for, like... So I was like four months pregnant. People kept teasing me. They kept calling me fat. They kept saying, why she sleep all day? They didn't know I was pregnant until like a, a week before I stopped going. They was like, why she keep falling asleep? Why she sleep through the whole class? She gonna be dumb. She gonna fail. I don't let it get to me. And I stopped going to school and then... And then, um, oh, so I stopped going to school. Bro, get out. I said that about 10 minutes ago. Got us in here for her. Got your whole own room. Whole living room. Whole Michi room. Get out. Get off of that. Come on, Kathy on. I tried to do this video while they was downstairs. And, of course, as soon as I started, here they come. So, now they got to get out. So. If they ever let me get it finished, I could be done. I'm fucking 10 minutes in and I ain't done shit. So, anyway. <sighs> Sorry. Stop going to school. Then I pretty much just stayed at home. Um, my mother brought me a chocolate muffin and chocolate milk. I think it was chocolate milk or yoo Every single morning. I could not go without it. I'm so fat. <laughs> I could not go without it, y'all. So, anyway, my mother used to bring me that every morning. But I used to just stay in the house, stay in the bed. I used to stay up all night and sleep all day. And, um, stay up all night, sleep all day, just watch TV all night. And then, like, when I did wake up during the day, I would just lay there and watch TV. Or I would, like, go with my mother sometimes, where she had to go every day. But, um, yes, I used to do that. And then once I had her at 16, because I was pregnant at 15, and had her a month after I turned 16. And... Um, so, when I had pushed her out, mind y'all, it took me, like, hold on, let me backtrack. My uncle had came over because he wanted to be there for when I went in labor. So, he had came over, and mind y'all, went all the way to my due date. So, the night he came over, I, my back was hurting so bad, I could not stay still for nothing. And, of course, i never been through this before, so, I didn't know what I was feeling or what to look for or, you know, nothing like that. So... My back just kept hurting and I couldn't sit still. My uncle told me after the fact that he knew I was in labor because I wouldn't stay still, blah, 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 blah. So, I think it was like in the middle of the night, I was bleeding a little bit. Or it might have been that morning. And I was bleeding real light and I just had like, my back kept hurting, my stomach kept cramping and stuff. So, they was like, mm, you need to go to the hospital because you're probably in labor. So I'm like, all right. And then it was kind of a blur after that a little bit. Not the whole thing, but a certain part. Because 
I was with my dad and my uncle because I was catching a bus to the motherfucking hospital. I don't know where. Right? Anyway, I was catching a bus to the hospital, and but we had to go get my uncle's check first or something. And I'm 16, just turned 16, so I'm still basically a kid. So I'm just going along with all this dumb shit when I should have been in a ride on my way to the hospital. But anyway, so, um, we meet up with my dad. That better be cleaned all the way up. We meet up with my dad, and we go get my uncle's check. And we was on a bus, but, um... We was on a bus, but I don't remember being on a bus. I don't know if I was in too much pain or what. I don't know if I was in too much pain or what, but I don't remember being on a bus. So, But then I remember getting off the bus. Get out! I just said that. Yo, they irk you. So anyway... I'm about to cancel this video because they irritate me. Like, he's just standing there staring at me like they ain't never seen me do a video before. And then he want to keep coming in here making all these noises. Don't go down the steps in them. Do not, KV on. No. KV on. I said no. You lucky I ain't got no pants on. Anyway, so, um... Oh, yeah, get off the bus when we was, like, almost by the hospital. We had to catch one more bus to the hospital, like, right up the street. And I sat down on a bench and I shut up. You know what? Y'all are about to be punished and go to bed. That's all I fucking do is talk. That's so irritating. Any freaking way, like I'm trying to say, doing my remote now. Like, that don't make no sense. Can't even do a video. Don't even listen to their own fucking mother. They piss me off. And then wonder why they always in trouble. Listen, now my remote's gone. <sighs> anyway, so I get off the bus. I sit on a bench. And I'm like, it's fucking squishy in my crotch. So my dad and my uncle just looked at each other. When I got to the hospital, it was my mucus plug. My mucus plug had broke. Ew. My mucus plug broke and my water hadn't broke yet. But they admitted me because I was, I think I was like three centimeters and my mucus plug broke. So they admitted me. And they ended up having to break my water. I had to push her out. I was pushing for uh, three and a half hours. And um, then when she finally came out well first she was sitting there mind you the the cord was wrapped around her neck they were supposed to do emergency c-section no no my bad not the cord i'm lying the cord wasn't wrapped around her neck uh when they broke my water they seen that she had had a bowel movement and they should have done emergency c-section right then and there but they didn't however they let me push for three and a half hours so by the time she finally came out, um, she was purple and green and basically, like, she wasn't alive. They was, like, kept picking up her arms. They would just keep dropping. They was smacking the bottom of her foot real hard. They was suction suctioning with the little blue thing, all this fluid and stuff out of her, um... Out of her mouth and all that um and then she finally came to but I didn't get to hold her and they had like took her to the NICU or something well first when they when when she had came out everybody's face was just looking all crazy I'm like what's wrong with my baby what's wrong with my baby my dad was like shh I'm like what you mean shh what's wrong with my baby but I was still like kind of so out of it because like that was the worst no that wasn't the worst pain but at that time that was the worst pain I ever felt in my life so, um, yeah, so, what am I trying to say? 
Uh, so they had wrapped her up. They had her in this little incubator thing that could like roll on wheels and the two holes where you could stick your head in there, whatever, touch the baby. And like she was wrapped up. She had the blanket all the way up to here and then a hat on. And I lied to you not. They took her to another hospital. They had to take her to John Hopkins and I had her at University of Maryland. I mean, my bad. I ain't had her at University of Maryland. I had her at Maryland General. And um, they took her to John Hopkins. And then I was supposed to stay at, they wanted me to stay at uh, Maryland General. But I'm like, fuck no, I'm about to go with my baby. So I left, discharged myself, went to the hospital she was at and they had like when I walked in there it was just it was this room and it was like a U shape of a bunch of babies just in their little incubator and in their little bassinet under lamps because I guess to keep them warm and it was like in a U shape just a bunch of babies and some parents a few parents was in there but most of the babies was in there by herself a lot of y'all not I walked in there and walked straight to my baby like like I just told you I was halfway out of it and she was covered up from here and here. All you could really see was this part when they had showed her to me for the first time. But when I walked in that hospital in that room, I walked right to her. I don't know how. I knew exactly which baby was mine. So I was like, that's my baby right there. So I walked right to her, whatever. And she had to end up staying in the hospital for like four months, for a whole four months. And that was a very tough time. She was on the, um, first she was, they was feeding her through the tooth through her nose. But in order for her to come home, they had, gave, they had, um, given her a G tube. I can explain about that in another video if y'all would like to hear about it. But, um, she still has a scar to this day. Uh. Lovely Mimi is fucking retarded. <laughs> I love her though. So anyway, um, yeah, so she was in the hospital for four months. They finally let her come home on a feeding tube that was in her stomach. And it had like this little clip to open and close it to connect the feeding tube to it. And um, that's how I had to feed her for like a year probably a couple months before she turned one or maybe a couple months after she turned one. I'm not 100% sure. Why is the whole light on? But um, it just fell out and the doctors told me to just let it close up by itself. And so... So, um... My bad, I was watching this show. But yeah, so it fell out, so we kept it out, and she's been healthy, fine, smart, beautiful, everything ever since then. And I would have loved to go back to school after that, but like I said, she was in a ho hospital for four months after that, and I had to keep going up to the hospital every day. Sometimes I would stay the night, but then it would be like, you have to go home, you have to shower, you have to do for yourself, you have to do this, you have to do that. You need to recover, this, that, and a third. So they would make me go home. Um, her aunt went up there with me a whole lot. Like, anyway. So then, I never went back to school because then when she did come home, she was still on that feeding tube and I couldn't send all that equipment to a daycare and I just didn't trust, you know, I just didn't trust them to properly take care of her so and i didn't have no family to help me so i just did it myself and i stopped going to school so then my next pregnancy was my son oh and by the way my bad from the beginning i knew when i was pregnant with my daughter i knew it because for one <clears throat> I hate beef noodles, but I was eating beef noodles like crazy. And I hate beef noodles with a passion. Ew. But I was eating them like crazy. And then I was cleaning one day and like the um, pine saw. I can't even smell pine saw to this day, honey. I will throw up. Ew. Ugh. 
That stuff made me so sick. I was like, yo, I'm pregnant. I know I am. So I had went and got a test done when I was three months pregnant. I got a test done before that. Like, when I was probably like a month pregnant. A home pregnancy test. That joint said negative. Three months later, I went and got that pregnancy test. That pregnancy test done from, um, um, I think it was like a Planned Parenthood type thing, I think. And that joint said pregnant. And he gave me an ultrasound and all that. I was so happy. Then with my middle son, um, I don't know. I, I kept feeling pregnant. Everything kept smelling like wet dog to me with him. And I was like, what the fuck? Why does shit smell like wet dog? Then I had milk leaking out. And then, like, every time I'm pregnant, my side of my hips hurt when I lay on them so bad for some reason. Why is the hard light on? Hurt so bad. And that's how I knew I was pregnant with him. And then I had took a test. Me and his dad had got a test and took it. And it said I was pregnant. And I was kind of, I mean, I was happy. But I was also scared at that time. I was scared and happy at the same time. And I was also in an abusive relationship, which is with his dad. He was abusive. And it was, um... And I was living in a shelter. So it was a lot going on. Well, I, let me not lie. I wasn't living in a shelter then. I didn't li move into the shelter until I was four months pregnant with him. I'm jumping the gun. Ended up having to move into a shelter. And with my daughter. And then pregnant with my son. I was pregnant at 18. Had him at 18. Yeah, and um... When I had him, I mean, he was pretty much an easy labor, I feel. My pregnancy was easy. I feel like the labor was easy. I just went in. I, I had to get induced with him because he didn't have enough fluid around. And um, he was like a week early. And they had induced me. Everything went smooth. I got my epidural. I got epidural with her too, but I got my epidural. They had to break my water, and it was smooth sailing. I pushed him out. It, it took me a little while, but it didn't take me three and a half hours. And um, then after I had him, probably like a week later, I moved out to shelter. And I was like, I can't do this no more. You hear him? And now you hear him. They is just irky. But anyway, I moved out to shelter, moved in with his dad, but he was abusive. So I left again. And I just pretty much was raising my kids. And I moved into my first apartment. And everything was going good. And then I met my last son's dad. And got out of that toxic relationship I was in. And then I met my last son's dad. And I was on birth control. And he kept saying, you gonna have my baby. You gonna have my baby. I'm gonna get you pregnant. This, that, and a third. And I was like, no, we're not ready. We're not ready. He was like, you just don't want to have a baby with me. And I'm like, it's not that. We're just not ready. Well, I was really saying he ain't ready. But I wasn't ready to do it by myself. If I had a partner, it would probably be easier. But whatever but anyway kept saying he wasn't ready and he was swearing he was so I went and got my birth control taken out and um got my birth control taken out and got my birth control taken out oh duh and then I got pregnant <laughs> like a month and a half later and um I was so excited. I found out because I went to the doctor and then I got a test done because I was trying to get pregnant. So I kept taking like holiday tests, holiday tests. They kept saying no. And then I went to the doctor and I finally did test that yes. And I was so excited. And then um, oh yeah, I called him and I was like, I'm pregnant. And he was like happy and stuff. 
And then, um, so my pregnancy, all he did was feed me, gained a fucking thousand pounds. That's why I'm this weight now. I was down to 213 before I got pregnant with him, y'all. I'm freaking 255 pounds now. I'm so mad. So anyway, that's like 40 pounds, yo. That's like 42 pounds. Damn. Anyway, so... Yeah, all he did was feed me 24-7. I was stay eating. He got hella videos of me just eating, eating, eating. And, um, so my labor was pretty easy. It Like, my stomach and back did hurt a lot when I was pregnant with him. But other than that, it was fine. Ew, the, the beginning, I always had this nasty taste in my mouth. I always had to have gum or candy or something. And if I didn't, I had a whole attitude, like, because the taste was just treacherous. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. And so, um, so then when I had went in labor, you know, we had did the do or whatever. And I, and I was laying there and, like, in the middle of the night. I just felt something leak out, and I was like, fuck, I just pissed myself, how'd I do that? Went to the bathroom, wiped, cleaned myself up, but it wasn't, like, no pee, it was just clear on there. So I'm like, what the fuck, I don't know, I, I, I guessed it was pee. <sighs> cleaned my bed up, laid back down. And I was laying there again for a few hours, and I felt something leak out again. And I'm like, I know I ain't just peeing myself. I just peed, because when I had went um, the first time, I peed after the fact. And I'm like, I just peed. I know I, I know this can't be peeing. Cleaned up everything again. Go lay down again. It happened again. I'm like, y'all, I'm ready to go to the doctor. This ain't pee. This is my water. And I always wanted my water to break to see how it would feel. Even though it wasn't a gush, it still was broke because it was punctured. So I get to the hospital. They're trying to tell me it was um, specimen, I guess I could say. Word. They tried to tell me it was that. I'm like, no, it's not. This stuff is leaking all the way down my freaking, to my ankle. And you're trying to tell me that's what it is. But they kept me to, like, monitor me. And instead of just listening to me, they wait hours and hours and hours and then say, oh, yeah, it is. But I think they was just waiting on a room or something. I don't know. But I heard this lady in there screaming. I was like, oh, my gosh, that's about to be me. Um, obviously, whoever was in there. Hold on. Let me not say that yet. But so. So finally, they put me into the labor room and I called him because he was on with the kids because they had school and stuff the next day. And I called him, like, I'm in labor. And he was like, all right, so we got the kids to school and everything the next morning. I went in the, the hospital at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. And then, uh, they, uh, and then he came, like, as soon as he took them to school and stuff. And then I didn't go into labor until 3 o'clock that, I mean, I didn't have him until 3 o'clock that next morning. <clears throat> so, when I, um, I got the epidural... But I was still feeling everything. Plus, they gave me Pitocin to, like, rush, like, speed up the process to give me contractions and stuff. Because I wasn't contracting. Even though my water had broke, I still wasn't contracting. So, they gave me that to speed up the process. And, um, I'm sorry I'm sitting here with my eyes closed. I'm tired. But, they gave me that. And I was feeling everything. I'm like, hell no. Like, this Epidora is not working. Like, my back is, my back hurt. My, like, everything hurt. It's just, I just felt everything. So, they had to take the Epidora out, put a whole nother one in. Yo, that stuff hurt, yo. But I didn't care. Because I was like, yo, I cannot keep feeling this pain. But I still was feeling everything. So, that's what I was about to say. Whoever they had in there putting, putting them epidurals in did not know what they was doing and even still they was telling the lady like do this do that and i'm like does she know what she's doing like she's about to stick a whole fucking needle up my spine and y'all are telling her what to do like she's practicing on me like obviously she didn't know what she was doing because they had to take it out and put a whole another one in and the other lady was screaming i was in there screaming like my dad said that i scared him like i was just holding on to my dad he was hugging me and I, I was just in his ear. Like, his head was right here. His ear was, like, right here. 
And I'm just screaming like bloody murder. I'm like, it hurts. Ah, like, I don't even know, y'all. I was just, all I know is I was fucking screaming like somebody was killing me. And the doctors kept saying, you got to calm down. You got to stop screaming. Don't push. I just felt like it was like a bowling ball sitting in my fucking uterus in my asshole. And they was like, you got to calm down. You're making your baby's heart rate go up. So I'm trying my hardest to not scream. But, yo, I just couldn't do it. I was screaming my freaking life away. And he came out. They was I kept telling them. I was like, he's down. He's down there. I'm ready to push. No, you're not. No, you're not. Bitch at the end of my legs putting on her gloves. And then she looks down. I see her. Because, like, I'm look like I'm alert, but I'm not alert, if that kind of makes sense. Like I, like, I don't know, but... I see her at the end of my legs putting her gloves on and stuff. And next thing you know, she looks down at my stuff. And she's like, oh, come on. She starts rushing because she's seeing the head. And then she was like, it's time to push. You're 10 centimeters. It's time to push. I'm like, no shit. So, um, oh, no, my bad. I kept telling her. I kept telling her. Uh, I kept saying, like, I got to be 10 centimeters. I, I got to be 10 centimeters. He's down there. They kept telling me I wasn't because they had just checked me. Okay, you can go from that to this in two seconds. Your doctors used to know this. So, finally, she checks me. And she's like, yeah, you're 10 centimeters. It's time to push. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So, she was putting on her shit and all that. And she seen the head and she started rushing. And she was like, come on, we gotta hurry up. So, I pushed two times. And he was like... Yo, his phone was like... <laughs> His father gonna call him a cone head. He was like, yo, that nigga got a cone head. I'm like, he said, he told me now, he told me the other day that he thought his head was gonna stay like that. And I was like, so what you was thinking in your head? Like, I'm giving you an ugly baby or something. And he said, no, he didn't think he was ugly. He just was scared his head was gonna stay like that. But, um, yeah, like, I don't know. Pregnancy is beautiful. Like, I like being pregnant to a certain extent. And even though I don't want to be pregnant no more, I do. I'm not going to sit here and hold y'all. I do. <clears throat> I do want to be pregnant again and have another baby and all of that good stuff. But no time soon. Like, all my kids will probably be grown before I have another kid. And, and yup, I'll start all over. But I can't have no more kids this close together. That, that, that just ain't happening. Period. Period, poo. But that was my pregnancy video. If you guys like it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, comment down below. Some other videos that you guys would like to see of me. And that is all for this video. Peace. I gotta grab the whole camera and hang up. Bye.